This is one of my favorite recipes. I make it all the time and it is super easy. It's my bittersweet souffle cake um, and it's something that can get thrown together a day or two in advance and just baked uh, actually during the dinner. So to get started, I've got a couple things prepped out here. I've got uh, four ounces of melted butter and I've got four ounces of melted bittersweet chocolate. Not unsweetened chocolate, but bittersweet chocolate. So you're gonna look for the darkest chocolate you can probably find in the store. We're gonna melt those two and we're gonna mix them together now. This recipe would work for a milk chocolate if you're um, not into as much dark, dark, intense chocolate flavor. But for me, the darker the better. So we've got our bittersweet chocolate and we've got the butter. We're gonna add a fourth of a cup of regular sugar. And then we have two whole eggs that are gonna go ahead and get added to this. So go ahead and add one. Give it a nice stir. Because remember, this mixture's hot and your eggs are probably cold or room temp from um, being in the refrigerator. So we wanna make sure we mix that in right away before anything sets up. Add that last egg. And those are all the ingredients to my uh, bittersweet souffle cake. Really simple, just some really good quality product. The chocolate goes in here, the unsalted butter. You can definitely add some raspberry preserves in here, or if you want to put a little chili pepper in it to give it a little spice. Um, it's a very uh, flexible recipe. But you do want to make sure you get it mixed together really well. So here is the chocolate batter. This can be put in the refrigerator and then just pulled out and baked um, when you actually need it. You can make a large number so you can double this recipe or even triple it if you need to do a larger dinner party. This particular one will make four ramekins. And the ramekins I use are an eight ounce ramekin and I just spray them with a little pan spray. And I'm gonna take my chocolate mixture and fill the ramekins about three fourths of the way full to almost full. So you can see I got them pretty full. And what I'd recommend doing that if um, you weren't going to serve them right away, um, I would put them in the refrigerator, cover them in plastic, put them in the fridge. Um, they can even freeze if you try that as well. Um, but pull them out um, and when they're cold, um, you can go ahead and put them straight into the oven or you can put them straight into the oven just as this, uh, 375 degrees and they take about 15 minutes or so um, your end result's gonna look like this. They're gonna puff up, they're gonna smell beautiful. Um, the whole house will, will be of chocolate. Um, you wanna carefully pull them out, set them on a little plate, and serve them. You can have a scoop of ice cream, whipped cream, or just as is. Um, the center will be a little soft, um, and a little spoon, and they'll be delightful. It's a great end uh, and a really fancy way to dress up your romantic dinner.